Finally, we have a way to verify those pesky catch-all email addresses. So this is gonna be especially relevant. If you're trying to do cold outreach, B2B prospecting, but you keep running into this issue where you download a lead list, you go to verify it using a tool like Million Verifier, and what do you know, you've got 20, 30% of your list that's either risky, invalid, or unknown and you don't know what to do with these email addresses. This is especially concerning if you're in an industry or your business model serves a very tiny sliver of the market. We call this a small TAM or total addressable market. So these catch-all emails, these unknown email addresses that we can't validate, become extra pesky if you don't have unlimited leads that you can reach out to. But fortunately, now we have a solution. So before we go into the tool and how to start using it, first I wanna kind of explain what a catch-all email is. For those that don't care about the nuance, pretty much every email verification tool works the same way. You upload a list, the email verification tool is gonna to ping those emails and see if it went through or if it bounced back. Now, unfortunately, some of those email addresses aren't gonna give that kind of response. So you're not gonna get a bounce and you're not gonna get it delivered successfully. These are gonna be catch-alls or unknowns. And if you're using a tool like Million Verifier, which is the main email verification tool that I use, you might see something like this when you go to verify a list. 60% good, 39% risky, 1% bad. So if you wanna learn more about what catch-alls are, what risky emails are, you can come in here and look. So if it's catch-all, it means the email server is set to accept all mail, but sometimes bounces back. And unknown, we couldn't tell if these emails exist. Now before now, there was a couple ways that you could verify catch-all email addresses. So the, the main way that companies were using is they would actually go into Gmail and try and log in to that catch-all email address, whether that be Google or Microsoft. And if it is in fact an account that exists on Google or Microsoft, then boom, it's valid. The problem with this is it takes a long time. So if you're trying to validate an email list right now quickly and you don't wanna interrupt your, your lead generation flow, then you need a solution that can do it instantly. And now I'm gonna be sharing with you what that solution is for me and how I've implemented into all of my prospecting and lead generation workflows. Okay, so let's get right into it. The tool is actually called Find Email. Now you might be familiar with this if you're already using Clay and it actually does a bunch of different things. All right, so here's find email. This is the back end. Here's all of the capabilities. You can find emails. And in fact, this is one of Clay's top email finding go-to tools. You can export from Sales Navigator or Apollo, but most importantly, what find email does that's unique to find email that other platforms are unable to do is instant catch-all and unknown verification. So this is my clay table that I'm typically using as my template. When I'm trying to really build my lead list, I use clay so that I can one, verify my email addresses, double verify my email addresses, and then qualify that this is actually a good lead. Now what's so cool about using clay to do this is I can run it through Million Verifier first, which is going to be that cheap bulk verification. And this is a custom API call. So all these 200s is just success. This is the result of that email verification here from Million Verifier. So I've got okay, catch all, okay, unknown, okay, catch all, catch all, and the list goes on. Now, what do I do with all of these catch alls and unknowns? It's a lot of emails that end up being catch all or unknown, especially if I'm going after a really slim TAM. You need to be able to verify those catch alls in this same table without sending it to some external service and waiting 24 hours. So here's what I do now. And this is what I do for all of my clay tables anytime I'm building a lead list. So I'm gonna add this column here, validate email with find email. And guys, if you're not familiar with clay, I'm gonna pause here and come back. If you're not familiar with clay, you can actually come into find email and they have a Google Sheets integration as well. So if you don't feel like paying for Clay or you just wanna get up and running really quickly, they have a direct integration with Google Sheets using their API. And if you click here, it's really simple instructions on how to get that set up. But if you are using Clay or you're thinking about it, now's a really good opportunity to do that. So this is essentially the table that I, that I use as a structure for all of my Clay tables when I'm trying to validate my lead lists. So the good news is Find Email has a native integration with Clay, so I don't need to do API calls. All I need to do is click, double click, say insert right, add enrichment, and then I can easily select Find Email from here. So integrations, validate email with find email. 
Now you can use clay credits, it's one token per row, or you can bring in your own API key. Now once you've added that enrichment, I'm gonna show you how to configure it. So I'm gonna come in to edit that column, and as you can see, I've got my own find email API key inside, and I'm only running this if the result of the first verification was catch all or unknown. Now you can use this instead of million verifier to verify your entire list, but it's gonna end up costing you a little bit more. That's why I start with million verifier and only use my find email credits if it's catch all or unknown. You'll click use AI here and you'll say only run if the result of that first verification contains catch all or unknown. You'll verify that the sample is correct and then you can go ahead and run it here. And here's just a quick sample of the data that I got from running this. So we've got about 10 results here. We've got five catch all, six catch alls unknowns. Four of them were actually invalid and two of them it actually found were valid. That is a massive percentage of these catch alls and unknowns that it was able to validate as real email addresses. And it does it instantly. So you don't have to send it and then receive it somewhere else. This is just part of my workflow and downstream in this clay table, I can then grab all of the valid emails and put them into one column. And again, if you're not familiar with Clay and you'd rather just do this in Google Sheets, then you can actually do that here. So I clicked on how to use find email in Google Sheets. You will have to do some API calls, but it's relatively straightforward to set up. And as you can see here, if you're starting with Million Verifier and you're looking at these lead lists and you say 22% risky, 14% risky, 11, 13, 22. This doesn't matter so much when you have millions of contacts in the US that you can reach out to. But what if you only have 10,000, 20,000, and 20% 20 of those are catch-all or unknown? Then you better damn well have a way to verify that those catch-alls and unknowns are valid emails that you can send to. All right, so what does it cost to actually get set up with find email? So if you use it the way that I just mentioned, so starting with a tool like Million Verifier and then using find email only to verify unknowns and catch-alls, you'll actually be looking at a really low monthly bill. So at the very least, you can start with a basic plan, which gives you a thousand email verifications per month. And if you're only using it to verify catch-alls and unknowns and you have a small TAM, that is gonna be worth it times a thousand. And then the next thing I wanna to mention to you, just other use cases for find email. As you can see here in these clay enrichment templates, the second one that it uses in its default waterfall is find email. So if you've got these credits with find email and you don't wanna pay for the clay credits, you can actually use those same credits to find the emails. So you can reorder these waterfalls to actually start with find email and then bring in your own API key to do that search for you. And if you do it this way, then find email is not just gonna be good for verifying your catch-alls and unknowns, it's also going to be good for identifying people's email addresses that you don't currently have. So maybe you're trying to hunt for a bunch of emails from companies that match a specific search term and you don't have the email address of the founder. Find email is one of the best tools to go and get that email address of the founder. And if it finds it, it means that it's already valid. So that find and verify is all just one credit. And if all of this looks complicated and you don't wanna build clay tables that look like this, you can just go into their backend and you can bulk email find from names, from domains, you can use their bulk email verifier, you can just upload a list of your catch-alls and unknowns, and it will verify those for you. So if you don't feel like using a clay table or using the API in Google Sheets, the other thing that you can do without using any fancy software is coming into these million verifier results, downloading only your risky emails, and then uploading those risky emails directly into find email. And that way find email can just do its thing and verify all your catch-alls and unknowns without you having to sign up and figure out new software. So just to recap what's important here, if you have a small TAM, meaning you're trying to do lead generation and prospecting, but you have less than a million people in the US that would be qualified prospects for you, then you absolutely need to verify the catch-alls and the unknowns because those email addresses are worth a lot of money to you. And the only way to do it instantly without having to wait a long time is by using find email. And if you want to integrate find email into existing tools where you're doing bulk email verification, then I recommend doing it in Clay, which is what I do. You can also use Google Sheets, or if you don't wanna sign up for any new tools or softwares, you can just upload your lead list into Million Verifier as normal, download the risky and catch-alls, and then upload it into find email to see which of those risky and catch-alls that it can verify. Other use cases I recommend for find email is using it to find email addresses of contacts that you don't have their email address yet. 
If it finds their email, it's automatically going to be valid and you know it's good to send. You don't need to double verify or triple verify that email address. In fact, find email guarantees a bounce rate under 5%. If you found this video helpful, then make sure that you watch my four hour masterclass on sending cold email. And if you really wanna go deep and network with me and the community, I have a paid program that you can look at into joining. The link is gonna be down below. And if you wanna get signed up for find email, I do have an affiliate link linked down in the description of this video. So please use it if you feel like signing up to support my channel and I'll see you soon.